let us see where we are with our live stream. Right. says, hello, mistress, how are you? I am doing well, thank you for asking. Hope you are well as well. Nate says, Sunday's here, hi, Domino3. Um, red hearts. <laughs> 5D says, hello. 50D says hello. David says, hello, Mistress Mara. How are you doing? <sighs> I think I need to make that slightly bigger. On. Yeah, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> We're gonna be doing something a little different today. As you can see, I am in a shiny, shiny cat suit. It's a little restrictive and I've never done this before, but we are going to do some stretches today. <laughs> Even though this is restrictive as hell. Um, Graham says, glad to hear that, ma'am. I'm fine, thanks. All the better see for seeing you, of course. Hannah Gino says, Oi, lindo, tudo bem? Lembra de mim? Sim, tudo bom. <laughs> Obrigada. <laughs> the 50D says, Wow, the cat suit looks great. Yes. So, the reason why I'm doing this is to force myself to stretch again because I used to be an avid, like, yoga goer. <laughs> But of course, since last year in March, I stopped going to the gym. And so I've gotten less flexible. I have started, my body has changed a lot, which <sighs> I don't know if is good or bad. I've gained weight, I've lost weight. I've definitely lost muscle mass. And so at least with stretching, this kind of gives me a good, I don't know, it just is good for you. <laughs> We're, I've been sitting a lot or laying down a lot. Laying down is not that bad because it actually elongates your, um, you know, spine. But it's also not great because that's where you're going to build fat too <laughs> if you're not active. Um, Nate says, just a heads up, I'm doing other things at the moment, so I'll be juggling around lol, but I am still here, winky face. No problem at all. Thanks for the heads up. David says, have you ever do yoga? Yes, I just told you my whole story on yoga. <laughs> I practiced, I started practicing yoga when I was in college still, when I was back in university. And let's see, I really started when I was probably like 2000, I wanna say 11, 2011. To 2012 is when I really started it and became serious about it. So, um, Graham says your figure is superb, mistress. More beautiful than ever. Thank you. It also could be the angle. Sometimes I realize when I look back on my old streams that I shoot from below, and that doesn't give a very flattering angle because it kind of gives you the double chin. But sometimes I just feel like looking down at my subjects, so I do it. And that's what feels good to me at the moment, so that's why I do it. Um, Hina Chino says, Me botam. 
Moderado. Você pode? Okay, he's asking if he could be a moderator, and my response to this, I'm going to say it in English for everybody else, is that there's going to be a testing period for people to do that. You have to attend all of my live streams and see, literally view all of my videos, because if I bring that up in the future, if I give you the permission to do that, you got to be able to like rapid fire pull that link up and put it in the chat if, you know, you're very serious about it. Also, I'm not just going to make you know, anybody, my moderator, I'm going to see how you respond, how you participate in my chats. You're not just a lurker. You have to actually contribute in a positive way and be super respectful, not just to me, but to everybody who is on stream or the guests that I bring in. And on top of that, um, it's a big job because I'm the one who's moderating right now. However, you know, in order to moderate with me, you have to kind of get to know who I am, what I would allow, what I have said previously, what I don't want to repeat all the time. My basic, you know, it's common sense, but my basic rules, if you will, for live streams. So that's my answer to that. And it's not going to be like, you're a moderator just like that. I will give you the permissions to do that, but you will also have like a testing period. And I also have to see if you've attended my streams consistently, you know, week by week. If you miss one here and there, that's totally cool. If you give me a heads up, it's even better. That's ideal. But um, yeah, it's it's a religion. You, you got to do it like a religion. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Um, Tom Smith says, I like your outfit. Thank you. Graham says, Mistress is a perfectionist. You look exquisite from every possible angle. Thank you. Nate says, it sounds fun, but being a mod is like a job and you have to be great at it. Exactly. Thank you, Nate. He gets it. Bradley says, hey, Miss Mara, I missed the last one, but I'm here. Ooh, you should check it out on my, uh, on my playlist. It was a really fun one. I brought in a guest and I tickled her with leather gloves. <laughs> So yeah, today is gonna be super casual. I'm not gonna get into a Zen space with yoga because that's where I usually go when I'm doing yoga, but obviously I'm on stream for a reason. I'm here to chat. And so I will be answering questions and talking about topics while getting my stretches in. I'm also gonna be do working mostly on the ground because I feel like that's a good starting point for me. Um, trying to get back into real, like stretching for real. So let's begin. Ram says, you look beautiful, Miss Mara. Thank you. David says, you are so professional, mistress. When I'm not drinking. <laughs> uh, Graham says, tickling, fiendish. <laughs> Indeed. So you guys are actually welcome to follow along with me or do this on your floor. But... I'm gonna literally just kind of go at it and I'm gonna start by taking a couple of deep breaths because breathing is so important. It's how we stay alive and we don't get to really take deep breaths throughout the day. I feel like most of the time we are, I actually breathe very shallow <laughs> on a normal day to day and that's not very good. You actually live, I don't know if there's a scientific statement for this, but you actually live longer if you have deeper breaths because you're really expanding and using all of your lungs and taking in if you're taking in good air of course if you're in a polluted city probably should wear a mask for that but so <sighs> inhaling to expand exhaling to contract Uh, Henachino says, do you have explanations in Portuguese? Um, so I'm going to say right now, it's going to be tough for you to be a moderator if you don't speak English, because that is my primary language that I address my audience with. Um, it is also most widely spoken around the world internationally. So unfortunately, that will have to be a requirement 
where you speak English as your primary language. I, if you speak it as a secondary um, language, but you're as fluent as a first language speaker, that's okay too. But um, yeah. <laughs> Nate says, by the way, Domina, expect an email later. It is very important. Deals with your business. Please check once the live is done. Will do. KK says, looking beautiful and peaceful. Thank you, KK. <laughs> um, Billy says, you are as amazing as you are so beautiful, so go gorgeous. Love you, Mistress Mara. Thank you, Billy. Nice to see you on my stream. KK says, happy afternoon, Red Heart. Miss you. Miss you too. Hope you... Um, hope I get to see you again soon. So, all right. <sighs> okay, so we're just gonna sit with our legs. You can, I always like to cr uh, cross one over. It's called a half lotus. Um, and you just inhale and kind of twist yourself kind of halfway and you can look over if you'd like. This is actually, twisting is actually really good for digestion. I always did twists like before Thanksgiving weekends <laughs> because you know you eat a lot and you expand the belly, so. Mauricio says, good night, Miss Mara. You look so pretty. Thank you for stopping by for a little bit and sleep well. KK says, I will meditate along with you. Stretches are much needed. Yoga stretches stretches and they say yoga twist giving <laughs> for sure all right i'm going to switch legs and inhale and twist by the way i'm also not a certified yoga teacher i'm literally just doing this because i've been to yoga so many times and i'm just doing the stretches um so i am not a licensed <laughs> yoga teacher or master disclaimer but Follow along with me if you would like. <sighs> and inhale. Oh my God, these deep breaths are so nice because I really do deep breaths. <sighs> Excellent. So, what else? Let's do leg stretches. I'll do it like this way so you can see it. I'm gonna start with my right leg. Nate says, you're a master in other things, winky face. Indeed. <laughs> so, if you can touch your foot, great. If you can't, reach for your ankle. Reach the furthest you can. We're going to do this multiple times throughout the stream. And no biggie. Reach, is, reach to where you can. Also, I don't know how much I <laughs> can reach in this cat suit. Oh, okay, I can, actually. I used to be able to put my foot, I mean, my foot, my forehead down to my um, knee cap, but I no longer can do that, I don't think. Maybe towards the end of the stream, who knows. But really make sure that you are stretching your, um, hamstring and not your back, because this is not necessarily a back stretch. I guess if you do it this way, you can, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> KK says, I was gonna ask if your suit is stretchy enough for yoga -ing. Mm, it provides a little bit of resistance and it's also really warm. So if I start sweating, it's because of the suit. <sighs> but yeah. Dane says, do you have ticklish feet? I do, but I can control it very well. Like my reactions. All right. And switch sides. Left leg extend. Graham says, poetry in motion. How sweet of you. <laughs> KK says, hot yoga suit. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh, my left side is way tighter than my right. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to work on that. My right side is obviously my more dominant side, so. Oh, I feel it. Ooh, that's another thing. Deep breaths while you're doing this. Remember to keep your breathing. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Third Eye says, hi, mistress with heart eyes. Hello, Third Eye. <laughs> KK says, your left must be submissive then. <laughs> nah, the left side is like a masochist. <laughs> because it's like, just do it, just do it, even though it hurts. Okay, um, another thing that I really like to do after stretching those, oh, we need to do uh, both legs out. So stretch out as far as you can. I am literally almost touching my dresser, so that's as far as I can go. Um, however, I wanted enough distance above in the screen so that if I do stand up or kneel upwards, you can still see me. So, but you can kind of see my toes a little bit. <laughs> Can't get goes lol. So just kind of stretch out and try to lean forward as far as you can go. This is a submissive position actually, but it really stretches the inner thigh. And this is really tight too, so, oh Lord. Ah. Third eye says, what are you doing to us? Crying, or uh, ha face and heart eyes with all this sexiness. I'm trying to stretch in a kind of stretchy, but also non-stretchy cat suit. Uh, Mauricio says, what type of material is your cat suit? Um, it's not latex. Um, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I have to check the, the label, um, because this was a gift, but, um, not latex, but it also doesn't breathe. So I'm guessing it's some sort of, I don't think it's PVC either. I think it's some sort of like polyester spandex blend, I think. KK says, new position for receiving pain. <laughs> you know, I started, la at the end of last year, I started um, putting a couple of my submissives into yoga positions because they don't stretch. And it's so good because then they're exposed and also like inner thighs are not that, um, how do you say? They're very sensitive for impact. Mad Hav says, can you remove your socks? Yes, if somebody tips me to, and it's going to be a big one because I would have to take it off for the whole time. David says, that actually helps. Thank you for that. Which part actually helps? <laughs> KK says, Lamal, that's awesome and also painful. But also, you get a great stretch, more spaces to play. Yes, exactly. Mauricio says, did you have a latex cat suit? If you watched my, um, my Christmas unboxing video, you will see that I received two new cat suits in latex. David says, the legs. Gotcha. All right, so facing the camera, I'm actually going to make my leg into a 45 degree angle, and we're just gonna stretch to the side. This is gonna actually open up your ribs. <sighs> Bradley says, oh, yes, more spaces to play, crying face. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I haven't even done anything to you. But also, we're going to add the arms later. Oh, I can feel it right here. This is crazy. Graham says, my goth friend had a PVC cat suit she was very fond of. Although she lost an, al an alarming amount of weight in order to fit into it. Wow. Ah. Okay, left side. Oof, my hip is already <sighs> clenching. Ah. Okay, also, if you get a tight hip like I do right now, the best way to do that is to just kind of lean into and away. Ooh, from it. Yeah, right here. I could feel it. <sighs> Third eye says, mistress looking like the total package. Heart eyes. Thank you. Ellen says, hello, Miss Mara. You look great in that cat suit. Thank you. KK, she is the total package winky face. <laughs> Thank you, KK. Um, Third eye says, mistress is showing off us her weakness. 
<laughs> with the sunglasses emoji. I don't know if, uh, if it's a weakness, it's just a reminder that I'm human. Oh my God, no, it's still, still not good. Oof. Okay. <sighs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea to not stretch for a long time and then go on camera. <laughs> okay, left foot, 45 degree angle and reach. So there's a difference also that I learned with breathing. If you breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, that's kind of the cyclical breathing. You only open your mouth if you're feeling too warm like I am right now because I'm in this suit. Probably not a good idea either <laughs> to be doing it. Uh, I just felt like it. I saw it in the corner of my eye because I had this cat suit in my living room for the longest time because I was going to do a project with it. And uh, yeah, I was like, I haven't worn you in a while. I'm going to wear you today. <laughs> and then I thought about stretching and I was like, hey, why not combine the two? <sighs> KK says, wait, you are mind blown. Wait, I am what? Huh? Third eye says, looks like your tone, like your toenails are painted. I'm wearing socks. <laughs> Third eye says, does it feel like a sauna? <laughs> a little bit. It's getting there. As I'm moving, <laughs> it's getting warmer. I have my water in front of me too. Graham says, this is making me glad I did my press ups today. <laughs> today. You said today twice. Okay. Oh, okay. KK says human. <laughs> Lulz. Yes. Human body. Goddess essence. <sighs> okay. So let us. Put both of our feet together. Yay. <laughs> KK says, thank you for inspiring me to stretch today. Smiley face. Me too. <laughs> thank you guys for coming by and doing it with me. Third eye says, a warm up for hot yoga, definitely. If I'm not sweating by the end of this, I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Feet parallel, not necessarily together, just comfortably parallel. And we're gonna lean forward and stretch. KK says, that's a great tagline. Human body, goddess essence, goddess mara. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I should have mistress in there somewhere. Whew. Oh. <sighs> Graham says, my predictive text has a mind of its own. Third eye says, I actually do the same stretches after my workouts. Good, yes. Stretch before and after any workout. Please, you need it. <sighs> okay. In this position, we're gonna raise one of our legs. I'm gonna raise my right. I'm gonna cross it over my left. I'm gonna wrap my arm around it or you can, you know, put your elbow on the inside. And we're also gonna stretch and twist deeper than we were when we were just <sighs> sitting cross-legged or path lotus. Ma Marise? And Gail, love the outfit. Uh, black heart, looking fierce. Ting and flames, thank you so much. Third eye says, feels so much better when you do stretches. Prevents cramping. And hips like me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch sides. You don't have to, I'm just doing it for the camera's sake. <sighs> Left. Bend and over and wrap around or use your elbow to twist. Oh man, this, this side really hurts. Graham says, interesting, I shall have to try stretching after sword fighting. I'm surprised you don't stretch. Makes you more limber. 
He can even swing your sword a little bit um, further if, if you actually uh, do that. Stretch, I mean. 911 says, uh, looking good, mom. Red heart. <laughs> um, Steve says, if I did that, I would break something. <laughs> you would break because you're not doing it. Third Eye says, informative video on the safe words. Thank you. I thought it was a good reminder because I still get, like I mentioned in the video, requests for no safe words. I'm like, it's obviously going to be ideal if the sub doesn't use any safe words. Of course, that's like the best. And usually they don't, but it's always good to have one just so that you can communicate immediately. That's uh, safety is primary, remember? All right, so I actually like this one a lot. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me because I'm gonna be leaning, leaning over, but basically you're doing the butterfly, which is putting your two feet together and then kind of just like edging yourself forward. You can put your elbows on your um, calves if you'd like. And then I actually like to go down further after this, but we'll transition. KK says, what's the most creative or funniest safe word you've heard of? Mmm. What the heck is the, uh, the coolest one, uh, not creative, but the coolest one is, uh, um, what is it? The DeLorean? Is that from Back to the Future, the car? I think it was really cool. Um, uh, that's the one that pops into my head. I'm going to stick with that one. Third Eye says, yeah, shouldn't be needed during sessions. Yeah. But if it does, it's okay too. Like when I have my subs say it, like if a sub says mercy, like the last time somebody did that was because I was tickling them so hard after I gave them impact in that area and they had to breathe. They didn't stop the session, but they just was like, can I have a pause? And I just need to gather myself. <laughs> Graham says, yes, the safe word video was excellent advice for everyone. Thank you. Liam says, didn't know if I would see something like this, gorgeous. Mercy wouldn't be my safe word since I would want Mercy from Overwatch to be my dog. <laughs> tongue out emoji, well, tongue out face. All right, so the one that I like to do from here is to actually put your arms same, same feet, same legs. You can scoot your legs maybe like four to six inches forward. And if you slide your hands under, oh man, this is tough in this suit. Okay. And have your elbows to the ground. This is called a pretzel. At least that's how I know it as. Ooh, and it really deepens your stretch. Ugh. This is a, this is a good one. I've actually tied my subs in this manner with rope because it's kind of like a prison tie because they literally can't go anywhere or do anything. And it, but it still, it stretches their back as well. <sighs> okay. Um, Liam says, how often do you do yoga? You missed the first part of this stream. Go back and watch it. <laughs> I answered this. Um, David says, haven't done yoga in a long time. Yep, me too. <laughs> KK says, this looks fun for rope. Indeed. Liam says, I'm sorry, I just came in crying, or er, sad face. <laughs> um, Third Eye says, tie them up and do some ASMR. Like, what kind of ASMR? Alrighty, what I'm doing now is I'm going to take my left knee and point it to the left. I'm also going to take my right knee and also point it the same direction. And I'm going to lean back and just let that oh, stretch my hip because I need hip openers. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Liam says creepy ASMR. 
NDLD says, hi, flexible. I used to be, <laughs> I'm trying to get it back. Uh, KK says, softly whispers, salty pretzels. <laughs> if that's a reference to something, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it would be a great commercial. Steve says, where should I go to get info for beginners? Like, what kind of info are you seeking? Because I have a whole playlist on my channel that says new to BDFM or keep kink healthy or through my thumb dom eyes or I don't know, I have a lot of playlists. Go look them up. <laughs> and I talk about my perspectives in different instances. Um, Steve says to start yoga. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't usually do yoga on through YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of channels that do do that. I've switched directions. I'm now pointing my knees to the right. Um, I am not a certified or licensed yoga teacher. However, I have been practicing it for a few years since, uh, well, before the pandemic, of course. <laughs> KK says, uh, no reference, just came from the pretzel pros. <laughs> Craving salty pretzels from Auntie Anne's. You know, I've never had a pretzel from them before. I usually, I don't think I used to get a lot of, like, um, how do you call it? Food court food. The only things that I've tried are Mrs. Fields cookies, which were really great, because that was in my local mall when I was growing up. And then... Yeah, that's about it. There's like a couple of Chinese and Japanese um, places that I would go for like a quick eat if I was there and really, really hungry. But other than that, I've never had like the pretzels or the even like orange Julius like shakes. I've been to Jamba Juice, but I've never had like the food court ones, like the juices there. Never even had that one. Adam says, how comfortable is latex? I am not wearing latex today. I am wearing, um, I don't know, another non-breathable material, <laughs> but it's very, it's providing a lot of resistance right now. So I'm going to give my legs a little bit of a break because they've been working for a little bit <laughs> and I'm going to do arms because arms are very important. We use them all the time, but we take them for granted. So I'm actually going to start. These aren't yoga poses at all, but I'm gonna start by doing circles because they just need to exercise. So tidy circles forward. <laughs> Third eye says, mistress, you're looking like you're preparing for leg scissors with a oh face. <laughs> I need yoga and Pilates, so relaxing. I need that too, just to tone again. Graham says, Mistress is a wonderful advertisement for yoga and sales of cat suits <laughs> will shoot up. Yeah, I'm waiting to be sponsored by somebody <laughs> to uh, showcase their stuff. So everybody share my content with other people and subscribe. Liam says, what's your opinion on FL? Um, I don't go on there often. I go on there just to post um, and check messages once in a while, but I think the community has changed a lot over the last, you know, five to 10 years. So I'm not going to say if it's better or worse. I, I just haven't been on for a long time, so I can't really, you know, have that solid of an opinion, but yeah. KK says we have a small, we have a mall day and get all the food court yummies. Potato Corner is a new delicious one dedicated to potatoes in all forms. Ooh, I love fries. And I love like curly fries, waffle fries. I love all of that. Hey, new tipping thing. If you guys tip, maybe we can have like a, not a food court one, but like a really good like crunchy fries. I don't know mukbang or something all right backwards circles going back third eye says your hair looks great as well thank you 
NDLD says, this should be the standard recommended outfit for women to help them get their guys into yoga. <laughs> well, that's slightly objectifying. But in all honesty, I mean, women look great in cat suits, so I am not going to uh, say no to that. Uh, Adam says, Mistress, you look with the bug eyes emoji. Beautiful doing yoga. Thank you. NDLD says airplane pose. <laughs> Actually, there is a dance move that kind of goes like this. And I mean, I call it the airplane pose, but I think there's another name for it. Oh, my shoulders hurt. This is not good, guys. <laughs> Liam says, because I'm on there as a bad example of a sub. Oh, my shoulders are sore already. <laughs> You know why? It's because I haven't given somebody a really good flogging in a while. Ooh, okay. Huh. To really stretch out your back muscles, you can do what I'm doing. Just left over, right over, and really squeeze your back muscles. Third eye says, oh, okay, wait. I'm gonna reread Liam. Liam says, cause I'm on there as a bad example of a sud, sub, laughing face. I don't know if that's something you wanna advertise, but okay. Um, Third Eye says, so many categories on felt life to choose from. KK says, uh, crinky, crunchy, <laughs> asthma. <laughs> uh, Graham says, ah, oh, fries or chips as we call them in the UK, yes. Um, the British and the Australians call it chips, like fish and chips. Marisi, or Marise, I'm sorry if, I, I'm, if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Um, if it's French, it's Maris. I'm going to say it that way. And Gail, when wearing a catsuit, does the wearer need to wear undergarments or not? I am not wearing any. It's up to you, honestly. I just feel like this is so restrictive already. Why would I, like, I feel I haven't worn bras with underwire for a very long time because it feels like self bondage for me. <laughs> and I am not about that. I actually wear wireless. Um, if I have a good pr push up bra day, then I'll wear it if I feel like wearing that matching set, but I haven't in a really long time. Adam says, Mistress, do you live in Arizona, USA? I do not. If you look at the location that I have pinned on this live stream, you will know that I am in Los Angeles. Third Eye says, seeing Mistress's person? I would need a few minutes to breathe Well, Korean person has given a thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna move. Oh, wait, no, more. Uh, yeah, no, I need a break from my shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do pigeon pose. <sighs> which is going like this. You are not sitting down. Your butt is not on the ground. It is elevated. And you are bending. I'm starting on the left, extending the right behind and just really propping yourself up. Whew. KK says that is why it's fish and chips. I was always slightly confused. Yes. Liam says, well, I'm like this starting sub that wants everything, but another Dom was helping me with my profile just to have, just to have to find the time to fix it. Tongue out <laughs> emoji. Um, Graham says, everyone will be volunteering to be used as target practice for mistress to hone her flogging technique. Oh no, I would only be doing that if it is uh, tributed, of course. KK says he volunteers as tribute in Lamau. True, it does feel like self bondage without the fun. Per the bras. Nate says, bad example of a sub. It's like going to a job screaming, take me, I suck, Lamau. In serious, don't bring yourself down. Doms can bring the best in you. Smiley face. I love that, yes. Third Eye says, will you have any more guests like Miss K or was that the exception? I would love to have more, but um, I don't necessarily trust a lot of people to enter my home at this time. 
Um, I, I was thinking of having my personal sub on here, but we'll see. Tell me what you would like to hear from my personal sub, actually. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> that was... <sighs> Drink some water, everyone, because I'm about to do that. Ugh. And um, Miss K will be returning as well in a more proper stream. Uh, so many people liked that stream. So it was very positive feedback. NDLD says, lay an egg pose. <laughs> um, what's the lay an egg pose? Like frog or like child's pose? We'll get to that. Um, they have a wide grinned emoji face with a thumbs up. Third eye says, great stretches, right? I swear, this is gonna be so sweaty afterwards and where are all my sweaty cat suit? Fifty sheets. <laughs> Um, Liam says, liked the crazed sub, tongue out face. Adam says, are you, oh, are you, typo. <laughs> KK says, round two. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, remember to hydrate, everyone. You actually dehydrate when you stretch, so. I love your creative Frenchified words. Well, actually, isn't isn't fetish also from a French word? Don't quote me on that. Somebody look it up for me because I'm stretching right now and I can't do it. Um, David says, never done that move before. You, you know, the one you did two minutes ago. Oh, good. We're about to do it this way. Korean person has gifted um, 5,000 won saying, mistress, wear leather gloves, please. Okay, let me do this stretch really quick and then I will put on leather gloves for you. Thank you for the tip. Um, Third Eye says, do you do any calf stretches? Yes, we did um, a couple earlier, but we can get to that as we progress. I'm still on the floor, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm gonna, so calf stretches are really good if you're standing up and you're putting pressure, like, I'll show you putting pressure on your heel. So like these are your toes and you go like this, but we'll, we'll get to that. NDLD says, it's not sweating, it's lubrication <laughs> with the clap and this emoji. True, it can be whatever liquid you want it to be. Okay, so right one, this way, left leg extended. Don't have, don't sit down, you're not sitting, you're up, upright. And twist if you like. Actually, you can even go all the way down, like so, all the way down. But I don't need that right now. I need to stretch my back and my hips. Oh, okay. Hinachino says, Que ropa linda e você está visitando. Está já indo. Está já indo? I think you know what I'm trying to say. Brigada. <laughs> My Portuguese is also rusty. Whew. Oh, good Lord. We're also going to um, later on lift the leg as well and do this, but I'm not there yet. So we'll do this again. Ugh. <sighs> You know how many times it took me to get into that um, first pose I was in <laughs> for my for my stream thumbnail? Oh man, I should have filmed a behind the scenes. Ooh, okay. Maurice and Gail says, "Here's a challenge: Do one of Chloe Ting's workouts while wearing that outfit." Hell no! I don't want to be dripping all over it. <laughs> that to me is like masochist. Okay. All right, Korean person. I don't know your name, so I have to call you this, but I actually have my leather gloves that Mr. Nate has gifted me over Christmas. 
And I know latexy looking thing with leather, not necessarily the best combo, but I'm gonna do it because I want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and of course I had to pick the long sleeves and long finger gloves because so smart. <laughs> but yes, that is one hand here. I will scoot forward for the second one. And we'll do this one in front of camera. <laughs> On top of that, these are lined. Oh. <sighs> what I do for the YouTubes. <laughs> NDLZ says, I can feel the burn, it's delicious. Are you doing the stretches too? I hope you are. Leather Hitman. Oh, you came at a good time, Leather Hitman. Look at that. Leather gloves and <laughs> with this, actually it looks pretty good together. Oh, fantastic. Leather Hitman uh, did heart eyes emoji, kissing face emoji, and lips emoji. Third eye says, do you prefer face slapping with or without gloves? Honestly, whichever one. I just like slapping people. <laughs> I feel like without, just because it's more stingy. And I'm a sadist. <laughs> so. <sighs> Take a moment and breathe with me in my ridiculous leather gloves and shiny, non-breathable, non-latex outfit. Inhale deep and exhale all the way out. Good. Leather Hitman says, fresh out of the shower. I think I need to jump back. <laughs> Flames and the devil horns face. Right? KK says, this is so unique. <laughs> Laughing FaceTimes three. I'm loving it. You know, sometimes you got to do stuff you've never done before, right? Third Eye says, actually, the gloves blend with the suit. Right? It's so good, actually. So thanks, Korean person, that I listened to you when I put this on. <laughs> Leather Hitman says, that looks delicious on you. Thank you. The 50D says, oh, uh, vodka. Is that what you're drinking right now? Because you should be drinking actual water. Just because vodka is water in Russian doesn't mean you should be drinking that only while you're stretching, if you are stretching. Adam says, I'm kind of curious, Mistress Mara. I would like to explore the beta SM world. Kinky things with somebody one day when this COVID-19 virus is over with. Oh, you can schedule it with me and I do remote sessions as well. Maurice and Gail says, gasp, Mistress Mara is channeling her dom power. Always. KK says, I would totally take a cute kinky yoga class. <laughs> um, David says, well, to me, I'm drinking water. Good job. Okay, let's do one stretch with these on because I'm kind of curious. Should we do the classic down, downward facing dog? I feel like I'm gonna slip and die. That's probably not safe. I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> don't try this at home, guys. Um, NDLD says, a leather gloves and the suit. Okay, I'll be a good boy. <laughs> Two puppy dog emojis. All right. Downward dog is literally a V upside down. Le Leather Hitman says this would be a dream to do yoga wearing a fetish gear. Right? I mean, trust me, I'm already putting in a lot of work like this, but on top of that, I'm doing extra work because this is like providing some resistance and it's really warm. So, I'm gonna have to take these off in a little bit, but let's just do one pose right now. And Ho Y Lung says, hello, mistress, hello. All right, everybody get into downward dog. All right, oh God. 
Okay. So you're literally in a V. Hands, shoulder width apart. Um, feet kind of hip width distance or a little closer together. And your goal is actually to put your heels down to the ground. I can do that, but you can pedal out your feet one by one to really stretch those out. <sighs> yeah, actually this isn't so bad. Later on, we'll add the, the, these things, the lifting of the legs, but not right now. Cause this is the first down dog of the day. <sighs> okay. KK says it's a new form of resistance training for sure. Nate says, comes right back. What is mistress doing now? Sees her in gloves. WTF, when did this happen, Lamont? Yeah, these are your gloves, Nate. Ugh. KK says, you super flexible. Imagine what I would be like if I was actually like doing yoga every day though. That should be a, a, a New Year's resolution, but I never keep to them, so I never make them. David says, I know that move. I've done it before in high school. Do it now. It's very good for you. Um, Third Eye says, <laughs> Mistress has nice hips. You know what? I'm going to go back to the hip exercise because whew, that one really helped and I have really tight hips. So everybody get onto their knees kind of. You can have your feet like so behind you. And then we're just literally going to lean over to one side. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't know what this move is. I just do it sometimes, especially if I'm dancing. Oh, and it really opens this part up, which is really nice. We'll get into lizard pose too. If you guys don't know what that is, that's like, that's like the move that I go into pigeon with, but okay. Whew. Eden says, hi, Miss Mara. Hello. Hawaii says latex suit, non-latex, but it looks like it. Alice says, hello. Nate says, mine, ah, <laughs> hard eyes times four. Why do you make me so happy? I love my domino. Kissy face times four and red heart. Oh, red hearts times four. All right, switch over to the right, guys. Adam says, I'm new to all of this, but I have been doing some research online. I'm watching YouTube videos. Mr. Smara, how often do you live stream on here? So I post a new video every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then I also, um, Oof. live stream every Sunday. I've been, I'm trying to do around like 7, 7.30, but sometimes I get on on 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. So it really depends. And um, also just subscribe and hit the notification bell because that will actually notify you on when I am here. All right, I'm taking these off because it's way too hot. So I'm gonna go close to the camera for you guys to see. All right. Eden says, we are doing yoga. I'm late for class. Yes, you're very late. I'm almost an hour in. Um, KK says, at Adam, every week on Sunday afternoon, PST and weekly video releases. Yes. Leather Hitman says, it's not, it looks like it. What? Ah, leather gloves are off. Oh my gosh, that makes a total difference. Whew. I will put these to the side for now. Korean person says, wow, I didn't know you'd do it for real, but thank you. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, and Nate says, gloves are off. Well, that's a sad face. Yeah, you should have come on earlier, but guess what? This live stream will be posted on my channel and you can rewatch this at a later date. KK says, thank you for the tip. Everyone is enjoying it, winky face. Yes, thank you, Korean person, for the tip. Third Eye says, mistress, I would love to stay longer, but going to sleep soon. No problem, Third Eye, thank you for stopping by. And DLD says, yeah, these gloves are hot, very hot, grinning face. Nate says, at Miss Mara, I already know that winky face, hehe. 
Yes, you know it, but will you do it? <clears throat> All right. So what did I say? Let's do a standing one. Oh, no, wait. You got to do more shoulder ones. No, let's do a standing one. Let's do a standing one. All right. We are going to do an open leg. Well, let's do, let's do a side forward fold. So a forward fold is literally going all the way down and resting your head and letting yourself hang like so. I don't look straight. Okay, there we go. Ho uh, Lang says, see you mistress, bye. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe. I do new different stuff every week. <laughs> Nate says, I'm a smart, um, yes, I will do it. I mean, why not, lol. Red heart. <sighs> I also used to be able to touch my forehead to my knees. I can't anymore. Eventually I will. But another good thing to do is after you do a downward dog, third eye says, party head? And the male symbol, Good night, heart eyes, mistress. Good night, third eye, thanks for stopping by. Weather Hitman says, I heard, let's do sounding for a second. And I screamed. <laughs> no, we're not doing that on here. I, I was gonna say, if you guys wanna stretch your wrists, put your hands under your, your feet while you're like this and stretch. Some people need to have their legs bent, that's okay. I can stretch mine. Be careful because the blood will also rush to your head. Be careful standing back up quickly. Do it slowly. You can also wrap your elbows and sway side to side. I love doing that too. Uh, my hair is so long. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a good one. Next. Ooh. We'll do a crouching one in a second. Graham says, this is why... Oh, Leather, Leather Hitman says, I know it was standing, but Lamau, laughing face. Graham says, this is why Miss Mara is simply the best channel on YouTube. Thank you, Graham. All right, this is actually a really good one too. If you are in a squatting position, like so, you can have your feet out at a 40 degree angle, but you can also try and do it straight on. If you put your elbows inside your knees and just like push them out open. This is a really good hip opener as well. David says, I can't touch my feet, but I can touch my ankles. That's good. That is great. Ooh, I can feel this one too. Ha! Keep breathing, everyone. You're doing great. We'll hydrate in a second again. Oh, this is a good resting pose for me. Oh, really nice. It also stretches my shins. Oh, wait, third eye went to bed. He didn't get his uh, calf stretches. And I just started standing. <laughs> KK says you could definitely be a yoga teacher. Double heart. Uh, I don't really like teaching though. I prefer to um, to just be in my zen space when I'm in it. All right, another one is like when you're squatting, you can shift your uh, shoulder one direction and just look over the opposite. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Shoulder opener, thigh opener. 50D says, are you taking new subs? Yes, yes, of course, I'm always taking new subs. And switch sides. Eden says, same here, Miss Mara. I just wanted to stop by and say hi and good night. Gotta get ready for tomorrow's shift. Good night, guys, and buenas noches, senor senorita Mara. See you this Friday. Yes, see you soon, Eden. I'm excited. Have a good evening. Sleep well. Leather Hitman says, that's what I love about full body seats, flexible and feel sexy as F. 
double pink hearts. Ugh. All right, if you put your forearms inside your thighs and push outward, this is also a really good one. NDLD says, yeah, mostly male yoga class, but let's be honest, it would work. <laughs> Red heart. Yeah, because most yoga classes I go to are like usually females. But also it's probably because it's during the day and uh, a lot of those females are either students or housewives when I was going to the gym. All right, next off, uh, legs farther width apart than your shoulders. And you're literally just gonna either touch the ground, put your hands in front of you or on your ankles, either one. I actually like to, I'll do each side as well, but let's just get used to this first. Because this is a good one. So palms on the ground if you can. If not, leave them upright. Uh, this feels so nice. Actually, do this with me too. Leave your left, uh, I mean, leave your right hand on the ground and then upward, straight up on the left with your hand up to the sky. Ugh. and switch sides. Let's see. NDLD says, yeah, mostly, oh no, wait, read that already. Graham says, there's a definite superhero vibe with the exercise in a cat suit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even think of it that way. All right, I'm gonna bend my knee for a little bit and just go so my heels are aligned. I'm just leaning forward on one side. KK says, super, Domina Mara. <laughs> I like that. NDLD says, this is calming. Excellent. Tip if you like it. <laughs> oh. All right. Make sure that your knee doesn't pass your toe as well. Have it as a 90 degree angle and switch sides when you're ready. All right. Leather Hitman says male or female yoga cl class wouldn't matter so long as everyone can show off their kinky selves, cowboy hat emoji, pony girls and boys have it have fun standing. Okay, all right, pointing your toes back to the front. We're gonna go to the right. And both um, hands on your ankles and just bend forward. Sometimes I micro bend to like give it some, I don't know, like leeway before I stretch it out again. And we can bend it, rest, uh, point your feet to the right, keep your left to the straight and just stretch your uh, left straight up or over. Really like this one too. Leather Hitman says, trying to wear the hooves. Laughing face. <laughs> that would not be a good balancing. Uh, <laughs> Maybe for acro yoga, I don't know. Um, Adam says, I like the shiny cat suits, shiny PVC cat suits, and shiny ru rubber cat suits, Mistress Mara. Indeed, it is a fetish. 
NDLD says, you have nice hair. Thank you, and it's all natural. I grew it myself. <sighs> all right, other side. Straight uh, feet to the front and both hands over at your ankles. Okay, wow. All right, then turning the left foot to the left side, we are going to 90 degree angle, left elbow, left knee, right hand straight up. KK says, this is the first time doing yoga since my arm, oh no, <laughs> double hearts and crying face. I missed it so much. Thanks for inspiring me. Yeah, you're welcome. Of course. Also make sure you're not putting all of your weight onto your, your left side. It's literally just like for balance if you need it. Cause in this pose you can even go down all the way to the ground and up. So, and you should be able to do that without pulling yourself. Okay. Graham says balancing will be a challenge tomorrow. It's been snowing heavily here. Lots of ice later. Well, um, hope you don't slip because I've ha I've been around many people who have slipped on black ice. Nate says, good thing you weren't doing this wearing boots and no one has requested it. <laughs> Nate says, guys, don't request boots, lol. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. I'll wear boots, but like not do yoga in them because <laughs> it's not safe. Leatherhead Man says, if you tried braiding it, say Viking braid, um, smirky face, do you think you have enough hair length for it? Asking for a friend. Well, I don't know how to do a Viking braid, so I'm not sure. Maybe? <laughs> NDLZ says, I had not much interest in yoga before. This is making me very in or interested. Hashtag inspired. <laughs> Applauding. <laughs> Emoji. Nate says, not safe, but also painful. I know the pros and cons on, of, on, of heels on your feet. Yes. Adam says, Mistress Mara, may I go check out your website and come back? How much longer are you going to be on live for? I'm not quite done stretching, so go ahead. Go and... Uh, do those things. I am at dominamara.com. You can also rewatch the stream after it is done because it will be on my channel. Steffo says, I stretch every day working on my splits. Hey, <laughs> hey, do you know how to miss? Oh man, I haven't done it in a long time. I was almost able to. I had like one, maybe two inches. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> in these, oh man. Luckily, I hope these won't rip. But let's see, like, no, I cannot. This is like as far as I will go right now because I'm so not flexible. <laughs> Stefo says, be careful. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I tried, but yeah, I can't do full splits. <laughs> they also say it, it hurts so good, laughing face. Leather Hitman says, I'm about 10 inches going down the back. Huh? Oh, oh, you mean for the hair. KK says, did you ever do dance before fans? Yes. Um, I dance like hip hop and salsa. It's not crazy choreography or anything, but it was just for fun and for cardio. Drink water, guys. David says, I can't do that move. <laughs> If you try and you practice enough, you can reach it. Graham says, I've had my beard braided when I used to work for the well-known biking museum, although a beard wouldn't suit you, mistress. <laughs> uh, I've worn a fake mustache before and I looked very good in it, so who knows? And DLT, <laughs> don't tear anything, you wore the suit. <laughs> I'm okay. 
Leather Hitman says, how durable is it? Oh, face your suit. I don't know. I haven't done anything this physically taxing before. So this is new. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to go into Lizard right now since I am back on the ground. <sighs> Usually in my flow, I would do like the side stretch like, like this. And then I would raise my leg and then like push. I'm not doing that today because this is the first time we're stretching since the um, pandemic. So we are going to go like so, um, 90 degree angle, kind of 45 degree, maybe a little less on the right side, left leg straight extended. And I'm going all the way down. I used to be able to touch my forehead, but I'm not gonna do that today because that's crazy. It's also very difficult for me to read your comments right now. So give me one second. Okay, you can now put your knee on the ground and you can actually lift the leg, reach back and pull towards you. Be careful because this is a really deep stretch. Um, The 50D says, wow, I love your long hair. Thank you. NDLD says, the suit is also getting a workout. <laughs> Indeed. All right. KK says, baby steps. Yes. Ho Y says, mistress, love your cat suit. Thank you. NDLD says, yeah, suit. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna face this way because or actually, I don't think I have to. Yeah. All right. This time, left foot at a 90 degree angle, right foot extended, and you can stay here or go all the way down to the ground. This is also a hip opener. Lower your foot, reach behind you, and grab. Leatherhead man says, what a beautiful peach. <laughs> Thank you. Surprisingly though, I am not really sweating, <laughs> which is great. Or maybe I am inside, but it's not like dripping on my face, which is awesome. So we're gonna actually take it back and I'm going to sit on my, kind of sit on my heel, but not really. And we're gonna point the toes straight up and you're just gonna bend and round over. Adam says, Mr. Samara, I have another question. Do you have any lady friends that live in or travel to Phoenix to do the same type of work that you do? Not that I know of. Phoenix is not usually a, is not a usual destination. It's usually like major metropolitan areas and cities. So, I don't know. 50D says, make subs do this. <laughs> I'll do this at initiation, lol. Um, Leather Hitman says, I do like the idea as a flexible physical test. Well, sometimes I do ask. Sometimes I'm like, what can, how far can you guys reach, you know? And then I can see. All right, switching sides. Left is bent, right is... Over. Uh, David says, I've been to Phoenix before. I mean, I have as well, but never for play. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ha. Huh. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe, guys. <laughs> Kay says this hurts like a mofo. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll sit you back down in a second after that. I'll let you finish your your move. I'm gonna pour myself some water. <sighs> Cause dang. Raymond says, yoga, wow. I'm a yoga instructor in New Jersey. Cool. Yeah, you're a little late to the party, but yes. I've been doing it in a cat suit and it's not the best attire for this. <laughs> so. All right, I'm gonna sit in half lotus again, but I'm gonna have my right foot over my left this time. And I'm just gonna take a breath and you can take one with me. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale all the way up. Graham says, Arizona was a great place to visit. Never saw Phoenix though. KK says, oh, welcome to Miss Mara's yoga stretchy party. <laughs> You're in the right place, laughing face. Indeed you are. Adam says, I'll be right back, Mistress Mara, Rose, and Kissy Face. No problem. All right, let's do arms because we've done a lot of leg work. We've stood up, we've come back down. Oh. Maurice and Gail says, can being a dom slash sub be a job? Yes, that's called a switch. <laughs> and DLD says, water, all nice and wet. <laughs> Beer clinking emoji. All right, so you know how we kind of opened, done some shoulder thingies and opened up the back? We are going to take the right hand and cross it over to the left, like so. Don't do it on your joint, that's terrible for you. And only go as far as you're comfortable. I try to be par parallel to my shoulder as much as possible. Leather Air Hitman says, there's a sense of satisfaction and achievement when you get, when you got your dom helping you work out. <laughs> well, yeah, I've actually done that before. I've actually kept a log, switch sides, of my subs progression because they wanted to lose weight. So I had them log what they did throughout the week, what exercises they did, for how long, what they ate for that day. And if they didn't eat properly or drink the amount of water that I wanted them to, they got punished. If they didn't even work out, they got really punished. <laughs> KK says, are there professional subs? Yes, of course. There's professional everything. SK says, I want to be your servant. You can apply at my website at dominomara.com. Maurice and Gail says, thank you, mistress. Vibrating heart. Um, blushing heart or like thankful heart. <laughs> I mean, thankful face. And then another vibrating heart. Hellwise says, mistress, do you like foot worship and puppy play? I do. I love those two things, actually. So, hang on, let me just check one thing really quickly while we are streaming. Leather Hitman says, actually very true. How do you classify this on your taxes? I do not discuss taxes on my channel or any sort of payment on my channel. But I do pay taxes. <laughs> um, Hawaii says, uh, hard eye face times three. Graham says, I'm in the happy position of never putting weight on no matter what I eat. Smiley face. Ooh, fast metal metabolism. Good for you. Um, let's see. KK says, 
Wow, Jelly, that's awesome. <laughs> Teddy says, hello. Hello. And DLD says, even professions, profession lazy people? Sorry, I mean politicians who only talk. Smirky face. <laughs> Good Paul says, mistress, I am your doggie. All right, well then get into downward dog because we're doing yoga right now. That was a great um, break. So we did the this and this. Let's go up and over. I like to add a slight bend to my back. Oh man, this is really huh, something. Push your arm at your elbow back as far as you can. Don't hurt yourself. Back straight. You can add the bend if you want. Otherwise, just be straight up. Like so. Oh, okay. And switch sides when you are ready. My left shoulder is actually opens wider than my right, which is crazy. Oh. Also, another thing to open your shoulders and your deltoids is to do cactus arms. And I like to do this with a slight bend in my back. Really expands the chest. Ooh. NDLD says, sorry, I meant professional lazy people, politicians, autocorrect. No problem. I think I understood what you meant. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to go back into the sitting ones for a little bit. I'm going to bend my left foot in, right foot out, open it maybe to like a 30, 40 to 35 degree angle. And I'm going to reach down and actually reach over. Huh. I know, I used to be closer to my foot, too. <sighs> Not gonna force it, because that's how you get hurt, but... Yeah. <sighs> Just gonna open your ribs. <sighs> and sink deeper if you can. Oh, fantastic. And guess what? What we do on one side has to happen on the other because you want both sides to be even. So right foot in, left foot out. Same thing. Inch forward and touch your toes if you can, if not your ankles or as far as you can possibly go. And right arm and over. And make sure that your chest is outward. Don't like put your shoulder in while you do this, out. Oh, left side is much tighter. Huh. Okay, breathe. Huh. Okay, and sink deeper if possible. Oh. Leather Hitman says, new personal goal, registering, dom slash sub, etc. as professional, my taxes will. Um, yeah, I would be wary of how you do that and actually consult a CPA <laughs> on, on that. I am, I'm not going to advise doing that, but. Okay, taking a breath. Ooh. Since we've done so much, why don't we go into a child's pose? That's a good one. For all the subs, I like them bowing this way and I will demonstrate it this one time. Legs, you can keep them close, close together but I actually like them to be at a V. Um, and then you kind of just crawl yourself down. You can be 
put your elbows to the ground and stretch as far as you go. The goal is to sit back, sit your, the goal is to sit your, your bottom back as far as you can go. So I use my fingers to push myself. And if you want to be active about it, you lift your elbows from the ground. Okay, that's a good resting pose. It's a good pose to stretch your back and kind of like, you know, do the thing. Um, next, I actually personally want to stretch my shoulders more, so I'm gonna do thread the needle. And to do that, you get on all fours. Woo, long hair problems, okay. Get on all fours and we'll do it this direction. So I'm going to, you want your uh, um, hands right under your shoulders and then you want to lift your left hand to the sky and slide it all the way underneath with your butt up in the air and just outstretch your right hand if you'd like I know you can't see this very well, but I think you get the picture. And your other hand is out at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to you. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, facing this way. Of course, let's see. Uh, Leather Hitman says, helps you sit better. And DLD says, yep, I can see why you like that. <laughs> Nate says, to be honest, that's my pose towards women, if you know what I mean. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the one on the knees bowing, lol. Good, as you should be. Oliver says, hi, hello. Graham says, the, the kowtow is the ultimate example of genuflection. All right, other side. So we are going to, again, all fours, lifting the right arm up to the ceiling and then threading it through as we reach over. Again, this is outstretched, palms up, butt up in the air, like so. Uh, really opens the shoulder. It's kind of similar to the earlier we did this pose, remember? Similar to that, but this one like flattens everything out and doesn't really um, put the same pressure on. Ken Tess tipped and says, hello ma'am, small pecker tax. I love your taxes. <laughs> I wish more people were honest when they have, um, you know, the CUM tax, but <laughs> thank you, Kent. Oliver says, I like your cat suit. Thank you. We are doing some stretches for today. How long have I been going on for? Oh, dang. 88 minutes and counting. This is good, guys. I'm getting my stretches in. It's awesome. <laughs> KK says, love it. Leather Hitman says, that good as you should be. <laughs> KK says it's a legit workout. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, ugh, it's, it's making me feel so much better. So I'm glad that I can be doing this for and with you guys. I'm actually gonna do, let's do another hip stretch. I'm gonna put my left knee at a right angle, right knee kind of at an angle and um, laying my, the rest of my leg flat on the ground, straight, and just really push forward with both hands if possible. Adam says, Mr. Smart, I went to your um, 
Domino Mara site, I didn't see anywhere to fill out an application and to see what sessions you do. Are you on your phone? Because if you are, the menu is the diamond and you have to click RSVP to RSVP. Kent says, yes, they should pay up, lol. <laughs> Agreed. Graham says, mistress has exceptional stamina. Man, you should see when I used to be at my peak. <laughs> when I was really going to the gym, like for realsies, I would do an hour of yoga in the morning, an hour of dance afterwards, then come and I would walk to the gym, which is like 1.8 to 2 miles away, um, round trip. And then in the evenings, sometimes I would go for HIIT, which is kind of like really light CrossFit. So it would have like weight training and um, just like other strength and cardio and uh, calisthenics. I was in such good shape. <laughs> but you know, I'm doing my best like everyone else. MDLD says, stretchy, stretchy, mistress. <laughs> KK says, there you go. All right, other side. Ooh, knee popped. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> KK says, let's go work out together soon. Oh, I would love that. Okay, so I have to adjust because I noticed that my toes were going past my thing and you want it to be a 90 degree angle. So always make sure you're in good form because it's not about how flexible you are, it's how well you do each form. <sighs> Oliver says, you're fit. Oh man. You should have seen when I was really, really fit. But thank you, I appreciate it. I've been trying to eat more healthy lately and trying to incorporate some sort of movement in my day. <laughs> I don't know if it's working, but I have lost some of the, the quarantine weight. Leather Hitman says, you'd think the heat would keep you warm in the suit so that you wouldn't have to change going out for the cold. <laughs> Tongue out face. This is definitely warm, but I'm actually not sweating yet. Like I haven't broken a sweat, which is good. And DLD says, you are still in great shape. What are you talking about? <laughs> grinning face, blushing face, grinning face. Thank you. <sighs> Nate says, Domina, when you say you used to or at your peak, I do get it. It's the same for me, for, a, for anyone, but I hope you're thinking of age either. You're not old. You're young, forever, ageless, kissy face, red heart. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always going to be like this, I feel. My outlook on life is going to be like this for a very long time. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be a child at heart forever. Um, Graham says, Nate is quite correct. Mistress is eternally lovely. Aw, thanks, guys. Oliver says, you work out a lot? Nope. <laughs> I, I used to, <laughs> and it sucks because all the quarantine weight is literally all the muscle that I built up turned to mush, basically. <sighs> so at least right now I'm trying to like tone so that this fat cells like compress again and not expand. <laughs> um, Nate says, I meant to say, I hope you're not thinking of age. Didn't see that typo until now, sorry. No, I, I understand. I understood what you meant. David says, I'm so, I'm so sweating for yoga. <laughs> Good, you're doing it right. Um, what other ones should we do? I feel like I've kind of like done everything that I really wanted to. So I might just chill out and talk to you guys. But I'm also going to, you know what? No. I have a couple more that I want to do. So, I'm going to do the half lotus again. Um, I'm going to put, this is kind of like our cool down. I'm gonna put my left foot over my right, and then I'm gonna inhale and just walk myself all the way down as far as I can go. Uh, and 
If you want to, you can put your left hand over your right while you're in this position to really give that a stretch on the left ribs once again. And then, let's see, we can walk it over to the other side so that your right ribs get another good stretch. And walking back up in a seated position. Nate says, okay, wait. NDLD says, yeah, latex, Peter Pan, forever you. <laughs> All right, switch legs right on top. Oliver says, I subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell. The notification bell will tell you when I am live streaming next. I post videos every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, and I live stream every Sunday. I don't have a set time for that, but that's what the bell is for, because you get notified. Leather Hitman says, crab walk and bridge. So I did something that's similar to crab earlier for the legs. Bridge is a good one. I don't know if I want to get in, I don't want, I don't know if I want to do inversions right now, <laughs> but I'll, I'll mentally prepare myself. Maybe if you tip me, I will do it. How's that? If I get tw tw 20 bucks, maybe I'll do the bridge. All right, right leg on top of left and forward fold. Also, I've never done yoga with my hair down, so this is very um, new for me because it's all over the place. <laughs> and we're gonna go to uh, the left this time first because we can. And walk it over to the right. Raymond says ninja death pose. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with that one. <laughs> Holy. <sighs> okay. I think we did good, guys. <laughs> For today. Huh. I think this is the longest I've ever stretched like by myself. Usually I do like half hour, 45 minutes and I'm good. But with you guys, it goes by fast. Oh. Raymond says it's a deep quad opener. Um, describe it. Okay. I really like the twists though. I have more that we can do lying down, but I prefer to sit up for today. <laughs> KK says I feel like cello. Good, you know what? You're gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna thank me but hate me at the same time. <laughs> Leather Hitman says, crab walk, bridge to hold pose. I think the head all in the back is allowed, but you get the head rush. NDLD says, this is sneaky. You're getting me interested in yoga almost without me noticing. Too interested in you and the suit. <laughs> Kiki says, that's what she said. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> oh, speaking of inversions, one of my favorite ones to do um, is the uh, plow one. You know what? Fine, let's do that as a cool down. We'll do a couple of laying down ones, but not the bridge one unless somebody tips me for that. <laughs> By sending me a, um, how do you call it, a uh, super sticker or a super chat. That's by hitting the dollar sign underneath the chat bar. Graham says it will be a pleasure to watch the stream again later. <laughs> I'm sure it will. KK says, for yoga, right? At Graham <laughs> laughing face. <laughs> Meh Rose says, any specific plan for this year? Nope, I think I'm just kind of going with the flow. However, I do have a few more collaborations in the works, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, because that'll be coming out on my unboxing and tributes uh, playlist, so check that out later on. <sighs> okay, so 
We are, ooh, let's do happy baby. I love happy baby. That's kind of like stretching the inner thighs on your back. Um, Raymond, oh, Raymond's uh, ninja death pose is back knee on the floor, shin flushed up against the wall, front forward as if in a lunge variations. Huh? Shin flushed up against the wall, front forward as if in a lunge variations. You might have to send me a link on what that looks like because <laughs> I'm having a hard time picturing it. Um, Graham says, ah, oh, yoga, yes. KK has tipped. Thank you so much for the very cute. Is that a sh I can't tell if it's a Shiba Inu or like a, um, Akita, but it's so cute and it's in Zen mode. <laughs> <laughs> she says namaste pup <laughs> laughing face oh olivier is the olivier oh wow i just called you olivier <laughs> oliver says you're good at what you do thank you if you watch my sh femdom short films you will definitely see me work um kk says it looks like a shiba <laughs> i'm not sure sure let's just call it that okay so we're gonna do happy baby it is Laying down all the way. Oh, okay. Before we get into that, though, let's just, like, put our legs up in the air and put them into our chest and just rock back and forth because we need a little bit of massaging in the spine. And you can roll around in circles. Oh. And don't forget, if you go one way, you must go the other way. I feel like I'm a huge pile of like, I feel like I'm a latex ball, but I'm not even wearing latex. All right, happy baby is literally just um, pulling your feet in and like, um, I guess making it kind of 90 degrees or 45 degrees up to the ceiling. And then I like to straighten one leg and then the other. Ugh and then both, and then I like to widen it as well because it feels really nice. Sometimes I like to rock side to side too while I do this. Ugh. So. Ugh. Yes. Uh, Raymond says, Ananda Balasana. Oh, I also don't know the words very, um, the, the Indian terms for these, but <laughs> I know the Americanized or the Western terms, so. Uh, Nate says, imagine me doing that to you and you're like, okay, you're cute, I won't punish you. Oh, heck, I wouldn't say that anyway, lol. You wouldn't say that anyway, lol. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, a leather hitman says, can confirm, very durable, lol. <gasps> oh, Raymond says, Sanskrit for happy baby. Gotcha. Makes sense. <sighs> I just like that name because it makes me actually happy. So, yay. Okay. So, from there, if you want to... Actually, yeah, this is bridge pose. We can do bridge pose. Uh, we can um, raise our pelvis. And um, you can either put your hands flat on the ground or you can push up with your um, hands at a 90 degree angle like so. This is... Yeah, this is bridge pose. If you're talking about the wheel pose, that's the one that's full on. And lower slowly. What'd you guys say? And... 
David says, I now feel like a baby again. KK says, I just found that last pose. I took Savasana as like, oh yeah, 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 dead, dead pose or something. Yeah, it's like the corpse body. KK says, but the progression of yoga flow is like flowing through life from happy baby to dead body and all the different poses in between going through different lives and animals. Or that's a theory of one of the yoga teachers was telling me about. Yeah, I love it. It's so like spiritual. Not unlike the kink world, guys. Look, full circle. <laughs> okay. Back down here. Let's do a couple more twists. But right leg over. I don't know, left foot maybe, and just push, right hand to right knee, and then if you really want to go deeper, lift, left foot, and thread your hands through, and push out with your elbow. Uh, I like this one. Of course, we're gonna switch sides. <sighs> yeah, and I'm exhaling through my mouth because I have a lot of heat from wearing this suit. <laughs> but you kind of want to continue this cycle of inhaling through the nose and inhaling through, or exhaling through the nose. Uh, okay, and up. Toes pointing up as well. Good. Okay. Uh, what was it? Plow was doing the, what was it? The, pushing your back upwards so that you're making a straight line with your entire body. Let's see. Graham says, time for bed for me, I'm afraid. Thank you very much indeed for another delightful live stream, mistress. Take care, stay safe, everyone. Thanks for joining in, Graham. Hope to see you again next time. KK says, bye-bye, Graham. See you next time with the glasses, la uh, smiling face. Raymond says, a knee goes the opposite way. Wait, for, for what? The, uh, the what? NDLD says, how are you feeling now, teddy bear? <laughs> oh, wait, we also need to do, uh, I like to do the twist where your hands are outstretched like a T, and then you do the, the four, so right, uh, what is this? I don't know. Right ankle over left knee, and then you twist over and you face the opposite direction. So your right um, knee is headed towards the left side, and you are looking towards the right. Keep your shoulder down. Right, I wasn't doing this stretch earlier though, but yes, this is, in addition to that, oh my gosh, this is, ha, huh. okay. And left side, left ankle over right, and stretch to the left. Your, your left knee doesn't have to touch the ground, but your left shoulder should stay on the ground the entire time while you look to the left. Oh God. Huh. Also, usually you're supposed to keep really quiet during yoga sessions because people are in like that meditative Zen mode, but I'm making a lot of noise right now because <laughs> this is my outlet to get all of the, uh, Hey, to get all the kinks out. Ha ha ha, I'm so funny. 
Okay, so what were we gonna do? Oh, plow. So yeah, that is literally lifting your entire body. I don't know if I can even do this right now, but um, let's see. How do you do it? Like so, to get your body as straight as possible so that your, your toes should be like right above your nose or something. And then slowly and carefully going back with as straight legs as possible. Man, I'm out of practice. Oh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna go into Shavasana. <sighs> Toes out and dead so that they're apart. Don't hold them. Palms facing up, shoulder blades to the ground. Closing the eyes, deep breath. And exhale we're just gonna stay quiet for a couple minutes because we worked really hard today and you guys did an awesome job and we can start conversing afterwards but this is just quiet time relax the forehead don't wrinkle it rest your tongue from the roof of your mouth don't touch it just let it lay there and spread your mouth so that your teeth are not clenched, your jaw is unclenched. You can even open your mouth and keep your lips together. Just sinking in. You can stay here if you like, or you can start wiggling your toes and your fingers, starting to keep your, or starting to wake your body so you can do wrist circles if you'd like, ankle circles. And then I like to slowly and carefully bring my knees to my chest one more time for a nice hug and roll on to one side and keeping my eyes closed push myself up into a seated position where my eyes literally are still closed i like to do half lotus here again and i like to lay my palms to the ceiling to kind of receive energy and I will do a couple of neck rolls here one way and then reverse and just breathe I like to flutter my eyes open, 
And this is the part where your instructor will say, thank you for being here for your practice with me today, but I am not an instructor, so I will leave you with this. And this is a quote that my instructor used to tell us every day um, that we went to go take her class, and I want to share it with you all because is very important. So, in a world where there's so much going on with chaos, remember to be kind to yourself, but also be kind to others because you don't know what battle they are fighting. So be kind to you, be kind to others, and just live in light. And namaste, everyone. <sighs> How is everyone doing? <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> okay. 50D says, KK, were you the guest last week? NDLD says, sleeping posed. 50D says, namaste, huh? Yay! NDLD says, that's good advice. Yeah, I think it's a great reminder because a lot of people get wrapped up in their world and then they don't remember that, you know, there are other people too and we don't know what's going on in their lives. And if people are mean, they're mean and not to let it affect us because they are, you know, they have their own thing going on too. 50D says hungry now. <laughs> I told you the twists actually help with digestion like it's it's great <sighs> David says I'm doing good and tired <laughs> KK says that was amazing <laughs> yay thank you guys for like staying in through the whole thing you guys were troopers I am thoroughly impressed <laughs> I hope everyone's like stretched out and I hope you guys continue to do this. If you need to like go back and watch this video, I may even do that to really push myself to stretch more because you know, <laughs> the, the older we get and the less we stretch, we just become like solidified and calcified in our, in our bones, you know? 50D says, you're pretty awesome. Why, thanks, you're awesome. <laughs> Leather Hitman says, uh, says smiley face. NDLD says, do you do yoga live streams like this yoga one again? I don't know, this is the first time I'm doing it actually and it's because I haven't stretched and this was a way to force myself to stretch while engaging with you all. And also in a different way because I've never stretched with a cat suit before and it was challenging, I tell you. Very challenging. <laughs> so. Oh man. Oh, you know which one we didn't do? I'm not going to do it right now, but it's cat cow. <laughs> that would have been a great place to start, but I just jumped in with the leg stretches because that's where I really needed it. But yeah, for, um, what's his face? Third eye. Um, calf stretches. I'm just going to do it this way. Um, you can go like this and then back down. Um, usually you want to do it on a step because you can really like dip your, um, how do you call it? your heels that way. So. 50D says, well, you did it. Good job, smiley face. Thanks, you guys did it too. Leather Hitman says, oh, NDLD says one vote for this again from me. Thanks, yes, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it so other people can also stretch because we need it. Leather Hitman says, and the crab. <laughs> Ernest says, Latex Mara, fantastica. Actually, it's non-latex, but it looks like it. Cat suit Mara. Uh, love, eyes, kissy face, red heart. <laughs> Adam says, hey, Mistress Mara, I'm back. What does latex worship, rubber worship, PVC worship entail? Um, a lot of things, actually. I like to include bondage with that, as well as sensory play. So, it's fun stuff. And when I say bondage, that could be rope, that can be like um, body bags or whatever. So, yeah. 
You guys don't have to do butterfly, but I'm doing it again because <laughs> I just need to stretch more. <laughs> Leather Hitman says, vacuum sealed maybe, lol. I actually don't have um, a vac bed yet. If I, if I had my own space again, I would, but not right now. 50D says, in and out time, anyone else want one? Um, tongue out face, yeah, buy me one. <laughs> I'm in California. I'm in LA. <laughs> There's plenty of those and they're open late. Um, you can also tip me so that I can purchase one later. Leather Hitman says Indian Cross. Uh, NDLD says, I think the latex idea is sticking. Mm, just go with it, I think. <laughs> All right, is there any last questions, comments that you would want me to address at this time? Because I think I've been streaming for, yeah, two hours now. Oh, stay hydrated, everyone. You are burning calories, or you burned calories. <clears throat> Alrighty, if not, thank you so much for watching. <gasps> 50D has tipped. Thank you, 50D, so much. I do appreciate it. That might, I don't, what does that get me? <laughs> Usually I get the double double animal style and also animal style fries. But maybe I'll just stick with the double double because <laughs> after all this work, I don't think I wanna put all the, the pounds back. All the way to back. Leather Hitman says, where'd you buy it? Smirky face? Where'd I buy what? NDLT says, what's your favorite fetish? Um, probably bondage and impact at the same time. I really love tickling as well though. So, and CBT. Nate says that, wow, that flew. Time flies when you're having fun. 50D smiley face. KK says, woo, thank you for the lo lovely yoga sessions. You're welcome. Presti says, hello, mistress, hello. David says, see you next weekend and thank you for the yoga class. You are the right teacher, mistress Mar I've never taught it before, so hope it wasn't that, I didn't have a flow, really. It's actually a very poor flow, but you know, it kind of made sense here and there. It, I literally went with what I needed to work on on myself, so <laughs> I hope it helped work your body out too. Uh, Leather Hitman says, the bodysuit. Smiley face. Oh, this was a gift. Um, yeah. <laughs> NDLD gives applause four times. 4D says, oh, CBT. Adam says, because I'm curious about trying latex PVC and rubber worship, Mistress Mara. Julie face and smiling devil face. Good. Do you have your own Latex, PVC, and rubber, and or rubber. Raymond says, good job, sorry I missed most of it. No problem, come back and watch it from the beginning. Frosty says, how are you, mistress? I love the cat suit. Doing well, we just finished our almost two hour yoga. <laughs> and DLD says, I actually think you can make this a thing. <laughs> Thumbs up. That's a thing, I don't wanna just be known for like one thing. like. So many people are just doing like ASMR or just cat suits or just leather. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to just confine myself to one thing. I could and it would mean more followers and more like um, consistent views. But I'm not interested in that. I don't want to put myself in a box. I want to just do everything. So we'll see. But that also means that I can bring stuff back and do things differently. Cause maybe I'll be wearing another thing next time, you know? So who knows? This was also just literally in the corner of my living room. So <laughs> I saw it and I was like, that's what I'm wearing today. <laughs> Adam says, I'm currently still looking at your site, Mistress Mara. Cool, take your time. Also, feel free to browse my YouTube channel. That's what it's here for, for, for watching and getting to know me and my perspectives. 
my personal perspectives. Presty says, thank you, mistress. This cat suit in latex PVC. Where's the gloves, mistress? I love videos on live, mistress Mara. Yeah, you miss the gloves. I already wore leather gloves earlier today, and this is not latex or PVC. It's just a shiny, stretchy material. KK says, this was super unique and such a great mix of all of your creativity. Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> it was very, uh, there was a lot of wellness today, if you will. So, yeah. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to end this here. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I will see you next week with a new video on Saturday and live stream on Sunday. Bye.